Three friends, three days off, and endless miles of Eastern Washington's public lands. It is a well-known fact that Eastern Washington holds plenty of wild turkeys, most of which are cooped up near or on private lands or farmers' fields. In this adventure, we packed up our gear and we are headed into the mountains of public lands in hopes of finding what would later be branded by me a true mountain bird. Kill oh, turkey. Kill turkey. Gotta Sounds kill turkey. To Gotta get hydrated first, but <laughs> there better be a turkey up there. <laughs> <laughs> Not the easiest thing in the world. How you doing, Steve? Yeah, one way to get ready for spring bear, right? <laughs> well, now they're saying, Steve, why did you pick this spot? We thought that road, main road, we were walking on would loop all the way around to the public land we want to hunt but I actually just ran into a bunch of private land, so we're gonna have to cut straight up this mountain here. Well, you guys, here's the deal. It looks like it's got about an eight and a half inch beard. We were walking down in this valley. We just came up this big ass hill right here in front of me. As we get here, Samong just spotted some turkeys way down there, so. We just hiked out this way for no reason. Now we gotta go back down. Here we go, Nate. Way to spot him earlier. Yeah. Didn't you say the one that is most to the left? That that's a tom, the redhead. The one, the other one. Well, like Smong just said, screw those turkeys down there. We can always try and try and kill them later, but we're gonna go off this ridge right now and calling to the valley below us. See if we get any gobbles back out of there. See if we can bring one up. Well, you guys, you know, if you ever planted some haunts and onyx, you think it's gonna look one way and sometimes it looks different. So, it seems to be the motto today. You guys can see now we're bushwhacking. You guys can see Nate over there already climbing up the other side. But you know what? It's the way it goes sometimes. And the more you struggle, I feel like the more you remember it later, so. And the sweeter the victory once you do finally get something, so. We're enjoying it. Wait guys, there hasn't been a whole lot of action to really show you guys. Um, we did a basic giant loop from the truck. Long story short, we were pretty high in elevation. We definitely went a lot higher than um, we think we even anticipated at first. And we just seen to sign a turkey, but. It's kind of a lot of fun to just get up here way up in this high country and try and hunt them. So we're about three, four miles from the truck. We're going to wake our way back now and hopefully not do any more bushwhacking for the day. You having a good day, Simone? I am having a good day. Saw some turkey, saw some deer. Five mile hike. What else can you ask for? Well, you guys, you pretty much saw how our little turkey hunting trip went today. We put out quite a bit of miles on our feet. We had a lot of fun. We, we kind of hunted like the true mountain birds, you can say. We're up higher in elevation. And then the area we're at right now, actually, is we're going to set up turkey camp here. We're going to just kind of camp with the boys, make some good food, and hang out for the night. Uh, we're going to have the road a little bit here and then probably roost some birds uh, for tomorrow morning's hunt. And then make a nice fire, cook a bunch of good food, and enjoy the company. So it's kind of the plan.
So it is 7.30 and we came out to roost some birds and it is just dead calm and it is just gorgeous out. This is one of those things where it's like, I can try to show you guys on the video, but it doesn't do justice of you can't, can't being, it. yeah, it's like, it's, it's just one of those moments like pictures doesn't do justice, videos don't do justice. It's one of those moments where you really just have to be here and just take it all Experience in. Experience it, yeah. Like, it is dead calm. I'm talking about like all these bugs you can hear. And we're just trying to listen for that pow, like way off. But so far, there's nothing. Right. Especially but, after a day like today, we're yeah. just hauling wind all day. Exactly. But and it was overcast, and then you just get the most I've got, beautiful I've got evening. I've got a feeling we'll hear one. Yeah. We're just going to give about 15 minutes and then throw out calls down into this valley. All right, you guys, so here's dinner tonight. If you guys haven't checked out Smog's channel, check it out. This is actually a turkey he killed a couple days ago, and we're actually going to have it for dinner tonight. We're going to make fajitas. we got some peppers over here and some fajita seasoning. We're going to fry it up right there. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. We're also going to make some hot dogs with that, because what kind of a turkey camp would it be if you didn't make a couple hot dogs? At least that's what Nate told us, so we had to do it. Got to have the hot dogs. No, I was wondering. Right. Well, here you guys go. That's our dinner. Got some turkey meat right there. This thing was running around four days ago before Shimong shot it. And that's um, Safeway meat right there. <laughs> Where we harvested that with their credit card. So that's our dinner tonight. Well, you guys, what we did last night is we roosted some birds up on this mountain over here that the plan was to try and make a hunt on this morning. As you guys saw from my footage, we got up at about 3.30 this morning, hiked up here and set up on that bird hoping he'd fly it down to us. And he played around with us for probably a solid hour and a half. Um, he'd kind of come in, gobble, kind of keep leaving. But we had a lot of fun. We, we never did 
seal the deal on him, but we ended up chasing him a little more up here, if you guys can see, kind of down below there, up behind us, trying to make a move on him, but he just kept moving away, so we just gave up on him. Meanwhile, if you guys can see the view here, it is absolutely gorgeous out here, if you guys can just see behind me. Um, so we're just kind of sitting up here relaxing. We had a little bit of breakfast and just kind of chatting, enjoying the day. He's finally warming up. It's just absolutely beautiful and peaceful out here, so unlike yesterday. So we're just kind of enjoying ourselves. We're going to hang out here for a few hours and then probably make a game plan for what we're going to do this afternoon. All right, you guys, day two of our hunt. You guys saw how our morning hunt went. We just got to a new location and we're going to try a lot of luck here, so. We're just hiking in, we'll see what happens. This is gonna be an afternoon hunt, so we're kinda of in that dead zone right now where the birds are just kinda of hung up, so hopefully they start gobbling soon. And this, you guys, why sometimes hunting on roads you're not supposed to have ATVs on sucks. So we just hiked past a sign that says no more vehicles allowed. We're trying to make a hunt back here, but as you guys can see, if you're these kind of people, don't do that. It's not cool. We just heard a gobble down that way quite a ways. Five, four, five hundred yards out, so. Go after him. Go after him. Give him. You guys, he saw. Well, how did I get. Well, how did I dig. Well, you guys were having a pretty good day out here. I don't know if I can really honestly say that anymore. Um, you guys saw what happened on video, I think, so. I'm a little disappointed. Um, it's a great possibility I think I wounded that bird and we were not able to recover it, so. Fortunately, that's part of hunting. I'm a little disappointed right now, so. Definitely a bit of a moot killer. Nevertheless, I did have a wonderful day out here with some wonderful people, so. Overall, it was a great adventure. We put in some serious miles. Just basically hiking and trying to locate birds, um, locate calling, and it's windy today, it's hot. Um, they just don't seem to be vocal or running around, so. Just headed back to the truck right now we're hiking out it's going to be evening time they're going to be headed to the rooster tree so have to suck up your failures and come back again and try tomorrow but it's part of hunting um i didn't want to cut that part out because that's just what happens sometimes it is day three of tricky hunting now we're actually back in the same spot we were at yesterday so we're gonna try this one more time see what happens so we just heard a couple right up the road. We just started hiking. So we're just gonna try and set up right here see if we can make it on on him. <laughs> so the bird didn't want to come in. He gobbled a couple of times, but he wanted to come in. So we're gonna try, so we're gonna try and loop back around higher than him and try and call him into a different direction. See if he comes in. Got him. Got him. 
No, he's done, he's done, he's done, he's done. Oh yeah. Go get him, baby. Oh yeah, boy. Go get him. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Talk about going from zero to a hundred. He was here. He was he literally was right, right there. Here. Wow. I was about to start recording, but Steve already started yelping and I didn't get that gobble. This is day three of our hunt. Um, the first two days, I will say, were pretty rough. Um, I would say first day was the roughest. Second day, we've heard some birds. We couldn't seal the deal. We covered a lot of country in both days. And then third day today, we had a, I don't want to say a rough start. I mean, we heard a gobbler right by the truck. Never heard him again. Um, we, we, we actually bushed back. As you guys can see right behind me here. We're kind of on top of a ridge here. As you guys can see the view below me. We literally just bushwhacked up this mountain. We be, we had to make a crap lot of noise in all these bushes behind me. Um, we were basically down below because we thought it was shaded. Um, we thought maybe some um, maybe some turkeys are hanging out down there, basically getting out of the heat because it is really hot right now. Um, we decided to come up here. As you guys can see, the view back here just absolutely beautiful. We just sit down, all three of us. We're kind of talking even. We're, we're making a lot of noise, I will say. I put my backpack down, put my little butt pad out. Next thing I know, I take my call out and I've just got to make a quick call just to see like if anything responds. And like 60 yards away, the turkey just blah, 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 just fires. We don't even have time to set up. We don't have time to put a decoy out, nothing. So mom's basically like Steve, because honestly, because you guys know Nate, Nate's hunting with a bow. He's got a tag. I got a tag. I'm hunting with a shotgun. The deal originally was that Nate gets a first shot. If the turkey looks like it's going to spook or something, I'll basically finish him off. But at this, we're so wide in the open here. I basically scooched down to a tree below me here. Samong all of a sudden is right behind me with the camera. I didn't have time to grab my camera and he's like, Steve, he's right there. I can see his head. And I look to where he pointed at the bush and I can just see his red little head pop out and I just fire off and rest is history. Well, you guys, this is day three of our turkey hunt. Definitely not the easiest bird I ever got. But you know what? It's one of my proudest because I feel like, to me personally, the more, the more I work for a bird, the more like, the better the reward when you do finally get one. So it was definitely a far hunt. I think not only does successful ending make it great, but the people I got to do it with and the memories we made out here in these mountains. So that's kind of what it's all about. As you guys have seen, we're just in some beautiful country. We saw some beautiful sunrises, some beautiful sunsets, and I got to spend a few days with some awesome people. And basically like I said, the cake now is we get a picture of this guy for memories as well. So really on cloud nine right now, can't really get much better. So. This was also one of the last days I was going to get to hunt turkeys this year because I was lucky enough to draw Washington Spring Bear Tag. So I'll probably be doing this after today and this was just a great way to close it. So, Before this hunt, I said, I want to suffer a little. I do not want this to be easy. And oh boy, did my words come true. At the end of the day, our hard work paid off. I was lucky enough to roam the woods with some awesome fellas and we made some amazing memories. Here in Washington State, we are allowed two spring turkeys. For myself, I consider those tags notched. I am extremely thankful for our public lands and this opportunity. Thank you for watching, and this is the story of a true mountain bird.